writing specification tests are the latest trend. Instead of writing a JUnit test, people are writing specifications using Spock framework. Hello everyone. In this particular video, we are going to see how to create tests using Spock framework. Let's get started. So I have already created an um, example sometime back when I was showing some uh, example related to groovy tests. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same project so that I'm going to write a new test for the same project using Spock framework. So this might be the groovy project which I was using previously to write some test cases. So let's see if it is the same test. Yeah. So this is the same class and the same test or the uh, project which I had used previously for writing some test cases in groovy so that I can show you guys how it was useful so now what we are going to do is we are going to create a specification test for this particular class using the Spock framework right so this is just nothing but a java class we are just writing a test case in groovy you can even write it in java as well so in this particular example i'm just going to show it in groovy because it's much easier to create in groovy right so instead of the groovy j unit what i'm going to do is i'm going to mention Spock here so that intellij can by default since that I need Spock, but before doing that, we need to add the uh, dependency for Spock inside our uh, code base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Spock dependency. Um, so this is the dependency which I have already used. So I have just created a template, a live template. That's why it came quickly, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create the test case. So using IntelliJ, you can just say Alt Enter, do a create test, and then you can just select Spock and this automatically creates the Spock test for you. So once you say Spock, what happens with the Spock test is it creates a specification file. So if you notice here, this creates a specification file, right? So meanwhile, I think it is downloading the dependencies for the Java, the Groovy version. So let it download, but um, we can go ahead and get started, right? So we have just created a specification test so if you notice here, this is extending the specification. So this is coming from Spock. So you have to write tests in that fashion. So when you run this particular uh, test, it will be running using the Spock framework, right? So I'm going to use the DEF. So in this uh, test, I'm going to say, so if you see, this is a FizzBuzz test. So if you don't know what is FizzBuzz, um, so Fizz is nothing but when you have uh, numbers in the count of Three. So if a number is divisible by three, then you say fizz. If the number is divisible by five, you say buzz. If the number is not divisible by um, either three or five, we say fizz buzz. Right. So that is what it's all about. It's a game, small game actually. So I'm going to say uh, should return fizz, right? So because in our test case, we want to return it as fizz, and then you can say when. So in the when you can mention what uh, this is going to um, signify, right? As a specification, you signify what is the when and the then, right? So you can signify uh, we are going to play with three, right? And then you just say def face buzz equal to new face buzz. Okay, we just created a new fizz bus. You don't need to call it groovy. And in the then part, we are just going to say should be fizz. Right? And we are going to say fizz dot actually you can do that here. Fizz dot play of three. Right? And I'm going to return this and store it in a Play. so let's see what is the value here so we need to do an assert so i'm just going to do an assert of play comma this right so let's see if we can get this running but meanwhile looks like uh, the groovy uh, dependencies are getting downloaded but uh, let's check what is the groovy dependency here why groovy 2.0 
I think this is the Spock framework which is downloading it. Right. Okay, let it down. Finally, our dependencies got downloaded. Uh, now we need to go to the tests and let's see if we can run the test. Yeah, if you notice here, the dependencies are like now getting detected. Right. Yeah, you can see these buttons, right? These are nothing but running as tests. So you can just run this particular test as a test. So IntelliJ identified that these are tests and we can just directly run them. So this is a specification test. Let's see how does it show up in the UI in the uh, IntelliJ, right? Because we have not annotated anything with tests, but IntelliJ identified these as tests. And if you notice here, the name of the test is should return test, should return that face, whatever. And these are just the specification. You have the when and then. So you have a specification written. So that way you can easily identify what was the test written for okay and here i have used the groovy asset but you can use any other assets uh, from the ham crest or any other api right so this is how you can write a specification test so using groovy uh, similar way you can write it for uh, java as well so there is nothing big in that so you, instead of using the java instead of using the groovy notation you just start writing it in java like you can you have to give a method name here uh, with the uh, return type white and then you can do the when and then you can just start typing the dens and stuff like that right so in general what is this spock right so spock is as i said is a framework so for writing specification tests in java and groovy um, so it is slightly different from the junit because you can write it in a different way it it, it uh, explains your test so when you want to write some specific tests which people want to understand then you can use specification in that case so internally it has a JUnit runner inside Spock. So that is why it is uh, IntelliJ was able to easily identify that this is a test case, right? Also the Spock is like heavily inspired from the JUnit, RSpec, JMock, Mockito, Scala, Groovy and Balkans and other uh, lots of uh, frameworks. So that is why Spock is different. Like Spock, Spock has like almost a mixture of everything. So right from Groovy till your um, J unit right Mockito and stuff so it is all there inside the Spock itself so that is what Spock is all about so one of the um, viewer had requested me to create a test in Spock so he wanted uh, me to write a test for the Spring Boot application in Spock but before that we need to understand what is Spock right so that is why the, I created this video so that we can see what is the Spock framework and what is the specification all about so you can just write the specification for a test case for example for this particular test case you are writing what is the when and what is the then so these are the different specifications for that particular test so this is how you can write a spock test so you can you can do mocking as well internally ideally you don't have to do mocking but internally if you are writing a j unit and you want to mock some external service you can do that as well so in the next video we will see how to write some uh, spock test for the spring boot uh, controller or the spring boot application so um, that's it for this particular video meet you again in the next video thank you very much